Prismatic Labs has been doing a fantastic job developing the validator client for Ethereum 2.0. And now they're introducing a new test network called Topaz Testnet. It accepts 32 ETH deposits built on the full net main configuration. It's got the latest ETH to phase zero specs and it's built on Gurley. It's very exciting, especially um, if you want to become a validator on Ethereum 2.0 beacon chain. I just interested in Ethereum 2.0 development. What's going on? I'm sure this news is going to fascinate you. So Vitalik also commented on that, even though this is not the multi-client testnet that we're all waiting on, it's still going to be um, very interesting because they want to test out the Genesis mechanism by restarting the top has testnet a few times. So excellent work by Prylabs. And yeah, Prylabs has been doing uh, great work over the last few years and they had some f major milestones, the Ruby, Sapphire and Diamond. And now the Topaz test network is, um, it's great because they're going to be able to test with the full Ethereum 2.0 specs if the proof of stake and validating works as expected. And yeah, the, the test network is unique and it represents the full Ethereum 2.0 phase zero mainnet configuration. With the Sapphire testnet, you used 3.2 um, girly ETH deposits, and now with Topaz, validators can send 32 girly ETH uh, to the deposit contract. And if you want to be part of the Genesis um, epoch, then you have to uh, send in your deposits soon before it starts. And I'll link this article down below so you can get all the information. The one thing I want to share with you is the system requirements because many people have been asking and the recommended uh, system requirements are you can have Linux, uh, Mac or Windows recommended is 64 bit. Um, Intel Core i7, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 100 gigabytes available SSD broadband connection. And you've also got the minimum requirements, which are actually great because that means uh, with four gigabyte RAM and Intel Core i5, I think with um, the minimum requirements, you can even run the validator client on a Raspberry Pi, but you'd have to add a SSD because you still need 20 gigabytes of available space. So I'll link this down below, you can read it in peace. Um, the last thing I want to share with you is the documentation. They've updated that as well. And I think it's gotten a lot easier with the Prism installation script. Um, they've got different um, tutorials on installing the validator client with the Prism installation script on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, ARM64. They've got many um, different ways of installing. You can use the script, you can install with a Docker, Bazel, and so on. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I might make an update video, I'm not sure about that. I made a one about the Prism, uh, the Sapphire uh, validation um, on the Sapphire testnet. I'll link it down below if you want to look that up. But I'll otherwise, really happy with all the development and the documentation that they have updated. Yeah, and apparently this good news is also reflecting on Ethereum as a uh, coin and the price has had a very nice green day with 9% increase in the last four, uh, 24 hours reaching 170 US dollars. So really happy about that. I've got a very uh, bullish uh, perspective on Ethereum over the next years, next five years, next 10 years. Uh, it's to be honest, it's very difficult to, to, to predict how I, how it's going to be, but I've got very bullish uh, expectations about the coin. So yeah, that was uh, the short update on what's happening on Ethereum 2.0, the preparations for the big beacon chain phase zero update. So yeah, that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, leave them down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.